Hey G.I. Joe fans, Joe Motion Videos 82 here. It is time for another G.I. Joe toy review. Today we will be looking at the Arctic Assault Guile, which was released in 1994 as a part of the Street Fighter official movie line, uh, which is a tie-in to the film Street Fighter, um, which uh, also was a movie with that was made from the popular video game franchise at the time. The Arctic Assault Guile did not make any media or cartoon appearances from what I could find. Uh, I didn't see any commercials about this specific action figure either. There were action commercials obviously for the Street Fighter series well, from the video game characters but from the movie line I could not find anything at all. Uh, he did come with a vicious swaths of accessories that were taken from various G.I. Joes. Uh, I'll get into that. These Some of these accessories just don't make any sense to me. It just looks like they needed something to include. And by the, the 90s, Hasbro was starting to flounder a little bit with their G.I. Joe line. And so they were trying to market to a different audience. It's the 80s um, audience we were growing up. We were in our, into our teenage years, so we really, at least for the lion's share of us, weren't buying G.I. Joe. If we were, we weren't talking to our friends about it. Um, I, I was. I was still buying them. I obviously still am today. Wouldn't play with them. I'd just open them up, throw them in a box, and my younger brother would play with them, or I would put them out on display. So... Um, See, by 94, I, I, was, I was an adult, and um, so when I, I came across this, uh, the Street Fighter line at KB Toys, they couldn't give these figures away. I think I, I bought this one dirt cheap. I think it was like a two for five offer. And I, I bought one of them, got for two dollars and fifty cents, on top of a ten percent mall employee discount. So, um, I'm sure they lost money on that deal, but at that point, I don't think they cared because they just had this huge basket full of them and sitting at the front, almost with a sign on it, "Steal me, please." Uh, I did not like the Street Fighter line at all. I did not see it as being G.I. Joe or even G.I. Joe-esque anywhere related to G.I. Joe except for borrowed accessories and body parts for these figures. Um, it was an abomination in my opinion. But uh, I did buy the Arctic Guile because he is a pretty cool figure. I'm not saying that all the Street Fighter figures were bad. You guys, you know, there may be guys out there who who love the Street Fighter line, and that's cool. Personally, I didn't. I I could not get into it. I wasn't much in video games, and still don't play the play video games that often. Uh, I bought him because he's an Arctic figure. He looks really awesome. Uh, he used, they used the body of the 1988 Blizzard, and the only original body part was the head, um, which does bear a pretty decent likeness to Jean-Claude Van Damme. Uh, there were two variations of this guile. One had uh, eyelashes painted on, and the other didn't. Uh, the one with the eyelashes, he came with white skis, and the one that didn't have the eyelashes came with a uh, powder blue uh, set of skis. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this action figure. All right, so here he is, the Arctic Assault Guile. He, he is pretty cool looking. Um, as you can tell, he was taken from the same mold, body construction of the 1988 Blizzard, just different paint. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set these guys aside. I want to get the accessories out of the way. Uh, because 
they just do not make any sense to me. All right, so the first accessory is his backpack. I don't know if you could see that, um, it's kind of, I'm filming inside today. It's rather chilly outside for Arizona. It's 49 degrees and there's a slight cloud cover so the ambient light isn't as great. They used his backpack from Deep Six version two. And actually they used the same color plastic as Deep Six. Okay, so the backpack, it didn't make much sense to me. It's an air tank. Uh, why would you put an air tank on, or a scuba tank, I should say, on an Arctic figure? It would make sense if he's in very high altitudes, but something this heavy, no. You'd be burning up a lot of energy. And another thing they used, this is the, the accessory that bugs me the most. They used the buoy as well from Deep Six. And they, I like this color blue. That's about the only good thing that it has going for it. This didn't even come with a, the hose. Um, so what were you to use this for? I mean, that, that just irritates the daylights out of me. I what would it be used for? You know, the children's imagination. You know, it it's limitless. But for me, it just it baffled me. Then it came. He came with two two rockets, or two missiles, and the missile launcher. Didn't come with any other weapons except for this and that you know surprisingly it has a, a good spring to it um, probably because I never fired it I'm not, I wasn't much of a fan for the uh, firing missiles if I were a younger kid sure it would have would have been cool and I would have done just what I did there I would just line the Joes up and shot shot them down uh, he also came with two skis made from that same powder blue, which are the exact same skis that came with Blizzard. Um, I don't display Guile with the skis. I have him off on his own. I match, match the skis up with the 86 Iceberg. I mean, it's a good match. So Iceberg wears the skis. This Iceberg only came with that one accessory. So I think he deserved to have something a little more. All right, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at, at Guile himself. He does bear somewhat of a decent likeness to Jean-Claude Van Damme. I hope that comes in clear. Uh, he has that, that crew cut. Kind of a sandy blonde hair. He has these two freaky blue pupils um, that really stand out. This one isn't the eyelash variant. Um, that always bugged me. Still does to this day. So, same body construction as the 88 Iceberg. Or not Iceberg, sorry, Blizzard. Um, he does have the brown gloves. They did paint the watch black. Um, they Instead of painting his boots brown, they painted um, his boot covers brown. Left the boots white, black knee pads. He has these silver pads on his knees and up here on his arm. He has a sculpted on silver handled knife. By the 90s, I think they perfected the metallic paint so it didn't rub off as easily. Uh, he has a nice silver belt buckle on the side. He has a painted on uh, gray canteen. He has a carabiner. The belt wraps all the way around his waist. He has an H harness 
on his back that goes around to the front to help hold his equipment up. He has um, pads on his his gloves, which I'm sure comes in handy when skiing, so you're not raking your knuckles up against stuff. He's wearing this all white snowsuit and a folded down hood. He did have the typical articulation. Now his head did tilt back and forth, turned side to side slightly. His arms did extend out to the side so far. Uh, his joints are tight. Um, hardly got any play time with him. Uh, his arms do rotate in a 360 degree ro uh, direction and they rotate 360 degrees at the shoulder. His legs extend out to the front so far. Knees bend at a 90 degree angle. His elbows also bend at a 90 degree angle. And he has the O-ring on the inside which holds him together. Now, all in all, I do like the figure aside from the creepy looking eyes. They, they took a already cool figure and just added a bunch of crap accessories to it. So let's go ahead and, and rate uh, Guile. So as far as accessories, I'll give him a seven. Uh, his saving grace were the skis. I like skis on figures. Gives it a really cool play feature. And the rocket launcher is so-so. Um, but the rest of the accessories just did not make any sense. They should have given him a rifle and a rocket launcher and got rid of the stupid buoy and backpack. But, you know, it was they had to give you a little extra, I guess, to clear out their stock. Uh, his paint scheme, yes, he gets a 10 out of 10. The paint works. It looks really good on him. Uh, slight variations from from Blizzard, but it, it works. Playability, I'll give him a 10 out of 10. He's your typical G.I. Joe figure, but he's not G.I. Joe. I just want to get that clear again. Uh, I did not see Street Fighter as G.I. Joe. His art articulation is fine. I give that a 10 out of 10 for a total of 37 out of a potential 40 points. So if you're looking for this figure on the aftermarket, he is fairly common. Uh, the prices for a carded figure go from $19.99 and go up. Uh, if you, you find it loose and incomplete, it goes from $9.99 or, uh, pardon me, $8 and the prices go up from there. And this is something I found interesting that uh, for a loose but complete figure, it matches the same price as a carded figure. Um, which I haven't seen that before. Uh, these are all prices according to eBay. It's $19.99 for loose and complete. Uh, if they did have a file card. Uh, each of them did. Uh, I don't obviously don't have it. Uh, it is incre incredibly lame, so I'm not going to even read it. But um, they did come with file cards as customary for a G.I. Joe. And I'm, I choke on that, referring to this as G.I. Joe. But, you know, like I said, there are people out there who do love the Street Fighter line. And that's, that's cool. Um, there are things that I like that other people don't like. So that's human nature. Um, but uh, I, I do enjoy the Arctic figures quite a bit. Um, I've always enjoyed the snow, so um, I take a little extra pride in my my Arctic figure line. So anyway, I won't bore you anymore with this this review. Um, I had a, a tough time doing this one, but I want to remain objective. It is a part of the history of Hasbro, part of the history of G.I. Joe, so... I, I'll cover everything good, bad, or indifferent. 
So if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Please share this video. Uh, let's get get the subscriber count up. Remember, I'm giving away a 1983 Ram Cycle complete when I reach 100 subscribers. So let's get this video shared, everybody, please. And thank you to all of my subscribers, both all of you who have stuck with me in the, from the past and those who have recently joined my channel, thank you guys so much. I really can't be doing this without you. Otherwise, uh, I'm just some guy talking to a, a cell phone. Um, so it, this channel is for you. It, it, it truly is. I'm, I'm making it not only to share my love for G.I. Joe, but to educate those who are wanting to get back into the toy line and start collecting again. So I found other reviewers to be helpful when I was trying to piece my collection back together. And also with purchasing, um, I found out it helps with negotiation when you're trying to purchase an action figure, if you could pull up a review in front of them and see what the the action figures came with, with the accessories, because I won't show you an incomplete action figure. Um, if I, I have a few vehicles that are incomplete, I will at least show a picture of what the, the accessories looked like that it came with. Um, so I, I found these, these reviews to be, from other reviewers, to be um, quite handy when it, it comes to to things of that nature. So with all that being said, this is Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.